Good morning everyone. We are going to cover a topic regular DC power supply. Under this section, majorly we are focusing block diagram, description of a DC power supply. Actually, the how we are able to represent the DC power supply in block diagram point of view and which are the major component, its explanation, then marking of a full wave rectifier. Uh, full wave bridge rectifier actually rectifies the half wave full wave that's also center tapped and bridge among that one we are focusing only full wave bridge rectifier then the capacitor filter the different types of filters are there in power supply we are focusing only in capacitor filter and there is no any analysis regarding that one and then last one the symbol center voltage regulator these are the major topics we are focusing and the uh, DC power supply, regulated DC power supply, it's uh, one of the important topic for the concern of electronics student when they are designing different circuits. To understand that one, first we can see actually what is DC power supply. We can see, actually, do you know what is this one? It's the a battery of a laptop actually this is the battery of Lenovo laptop and this is the charger of that Lenovo laptop this one this is the charger of Lenovo laptop normally we will say when the battery get down that time we will uh, we will say the battery is low we have to charge the laptop charge the uh, laptop then we operate the uh, after we get fully charged we can operate that one uh, it is not necessary that uh, a battery is required uh, directly we can connect the charger to the supply and operate the laptop maybe whatever it is in this case it it has three part you can say it has three part one is the this one is in the three pin we are connecting this one to the ac power supply and there is one box so this three pin from this three pin the 230 volt and uh, 50 hertz supply that is coming to this end and that is given to this box we can say what is this for in general we are saying this box is adapter okay then from the this small uh, thin wire is coming and its end we are connecting to the plug-in point or uh, charging point of laptop actually what is the function of this box and uh, this uh, adapter if you are focusing the here you can see it is somewhat written here it is 230 volt sorry 100 to 240 volt 1.2 ampere that is the in that is from this three pin it is allowed to it is allowed 100 volt 240 volt supply and the current is 1.2 ampere and the output of this one is given it has 2.25 ampere and 20 volt that is 20 volt output and 2.25 ampere so it convert so we can simply say the function of this laptop is to sorry function of this adapter is to convert 100 to 230 or 240 volt supply to 20 volt and 50 hertz supply to 50 hertz or 60 hertz uh, frequency to zero frequency that is near to uh, which one uh, DC DC screen. So the current um, voltage it is 100 to 230 volt that is round number to 20 volt. Then one uh, this 1.2 ampere that is up convert nearly nearly to 2.25 ampere. Then the frequency frequency didn't mention here didn't mention because it is zero frequency here it is 50 to 60 hertz. Now it is converting to zero frequency signal. So that is that operation is done by this adapter.
So the function adapter, this 100 to 230 volt that can be done by a transform also, transform machine, and the current 1.2 ampere to 2.2 ampere that also you can done by one transform. But 50 hertz that now become as zero hertz here. That is the major concern. 50 hertz that become zero hertz here. So, purpose of this adapter to convert this 50 hertz supply that is a um, signal is, uh, or you can say it's a AC signal uh, that you are converting that one to a zero frequency DC. DC, DC is power supply. Okay. You can see not only for this adapter, if you are taking <coughs> this one, this is the mobile charger. Again, in this mobile charger, it is clearly mentioned what should be the input and what should be the output. 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, same as to this charger, laptop charger, it also 100 to 240 volt. But the output is 5 volt and 1 ampere. Output is 5 volt and 1 ampere. So, you can see this box design of this box that is adapter it can be 20 volt or it can be 5 volt depends on the requirement if it's a laptop it is it can be 20 volt if it's a mobile charge it can be uh, 5 volt like that the design of this box design of this box is changing so actually this box is generally known as regulated dc power supply we are going to see detail of what is inside this box adapter. That is generally known as regular DC box supply. Before we are going to see what is inside this box, why we have to convert this one to AC to DC? The major requirement is that transmitted signal or transmitted power, it is in the form of AC only. And most of our electronic equipment it is operating in DC only. Then why can't we transmit the supply in AC and why can't we transfer the supply in DC? Most of our electronic equipment we are operating in D DC, then why can't we transmit in DC? There is equipment and L devices and that is uh, motors and this uh, washing machine like devices are there which are operating in AC that is one reason but that is not the main reason the main reason is when we are generating signal it has a power that power is V into I and 50 percentage of this power will lose as a heat energy and its equation is P into T then the loss of heat it is power into time it again it can represent as i square r into t that is power is i square r and time or power is v square by r into time so most of the energy loss is i square r into t or v square by r into t and for a generator signal power is constant power will not be changed but you can increase voltage then current will decrease or you can decrease voltage then current will increase so during the time of transmission, you can transmit the signal in high voltage and low current or low voltage in high current or same voltage and same current. In any way you can transmit. But if you are transmitting in high vo low voltage and high current, the loss will be I square R I square into R into T. Whereas if you are transmitting high voltage the loss of power will be V square by R into T. That is, when we are transmitting in terms of high current, the power loss will be more because the R is multiplying. But if you are transmitting the current uh, signal in terms of high voltage, the power loss will be reduced because V square by R into T. So, due to this reason, normally at the transmission side, we are increasing the voltage. And at the distribution side, we are decreasing the voltage. 
for a generated signal with a fixed power if you want to increase the voltage and decrease the current without changing power that equipment is transformer and the transformer can be operated only in ac not in dc so due to this reason we are using ac signal for transmission at the receiver side the adapter to uh, generate a required value of dc signal so this is the basic block diagram of dc power supply so we can see this is the ac uh, the three pin from there to the we are connecting ac line 230 volt then surely there is a transformer because we have to down convert the signal isn't it so we have to down convert the signal so that we have a transformer here anyway you have seen that one here this 100 volt or 230 volt we are down converted to 20 volt for that purpose we require transformer then again next one is rectifier rectifier is the one of the important one normally we are saying rectifier converting ac to dc actually rectifier converting ac to dc but it is not a constant dc it will be pulsating dc that you have to understand generally we are saying dc has zero frequency actually dc doesn't have zero frequency ac has a frequency similarly dc also may have frequency if it's pulsating dc it has frequency so this pulsating DC, we are passing through filter so that we are removing the pulses that is AC component and we are connect, again connecting that one to a regulator, we are getting constant DC. That one we are giving to load. The load is nothing but our laptop. So through this pin, we are giving that one to load. Okay. So it is coming there. So <coughs> then we are going to detail each of this block. Before we are going to detail each of this block, one more thing we have to understand. What is the difference between this pulsating DC and this DC? Or what is actually DC and AC? That we can see the next video. Thank you.